Machine learning as a classification technology is really meant to detect unknown threats. The idea behind it is really simple. Train a machine learning model to recognize if something is good or bad and have it be accurate long after the training of that model has taken place. The way machine learning models are created is by collecting a large data set, we're talking millions of files, then labeling that data set into good versus bad, and then training the model to discern between the two. Uh, and obviously, a couple of challenges right out of bat. One is having that large data set. The other one is making sure that those labels are applied to the data set correctly. And then ultimately, you know, picking the algorithm and training it in a perfect way so it can discern between good or bad. That's how most machine learning classifiers work today. What we tried to innovate in this particular field is we considered how others were implementing their classification engines. And we said the most important bit is the interpretability of results. The human analyst needs to not only agree with the result, but know why the result has happened in the first place. To do that, we created a system called explainable machine learning. And explainable machine learning is about bridging that gap between the human analyst and the machine, which does classification. The way we implemented uh, this particular system is we built it upon our automated static analysis engine. A static analysis engine, which is really fast, it extracts both raw metadata and also indicators from the binary objects. And the idea of explainability behind the metadata and behind the classification is how well did we define those indicators. And those indicators, really, we think about them as human readable descriptions of intent of the actual object. In terms of, for example, ransomware, you can think about them as you know, a description of what the ransomware does. So an indicator our system would provide would be this object can read other files, it can write the files, it can encrypt, it can iterate disk drives, it uses these kinds of cryptography primitives, and so on. So all of these indicators are describing the intent of the code which is contained within the object. And that's the idea behind the indicators. So to have an explainable machine learning model means to base it solely on these features which are human readable and interpretable. So that way, when the model creates and or decides whether or not something is malicious, it is really based upon how well did we describe what an object is. And the descriptions are a tedious process and we've invested uh, a lot of time and energy into making sure they're really, really accurate. But the end result is a trustworthy classification, meaning that whatever the machine learning algorithm has decided uh, can be verified both through the indicators, but also the reasons why these indicators have actually triggered. So since all of that is explainable and transparent, the confidence that the model has created a good decision is there. It's, it's growing and the analyst feels that the machine has made a right choice. Discerning good from bad is obviously good. Uh, that is the crux of all classifications. Uh, but we said that's not good enough for our explainable machine learning. We wanted to be able to tell you what type of bad something is. Being able to classify something as not only bad, but ransomware, not only bad, but backdoor or a keylogger or something else or a worm, for example, all of those were important outcomes for the classification system. Because not only have we detected something bad, we gave you an explanation of what to do next, because the threat responders respond on threats based on the threat types. So there's one set of actions you would take to defend an organization from ransomware and then another from a back door. Uh, one is to remediate, the other is to even shut down systems which might be vulnerable to this particular type of an attack. So that's why it's not good enough to just say something is bad or something is 80% bad. That's why the only good choice that, that you have as an analyst is knowing what that bad thing is, and also to understand why this classification has taken place in the first place. What Reversing Labs has ultimately built is an explainable machine learning classification system, which is targeting humans first. 
targeting their understanding of why the threat has been classified in the first place.